Hi Kiwis, here's your Alexandra again and welcome to the next unboxing video of me. Today we have a look at the Ogre Kingdom's Mornfang Cavalry. So that's the front art cover, that's the back side and now let's open it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what we got. So, first uh, we got two bases, uh, chariot size, then the usual manual, good 3D renders, all nicely explained here. So, and then we got, uh, as it looks, three sprues. So, we got two sprues for the for the beasts and one sprue for the ogre. So let's start with the beast sprues. <coughs> Zoom in a little bit. So um, there we have uh, two two-handed weapons. So then this here looks like a part of the saddle. <coughs> then here's one body. Also parts of the saddle. There's the other body, the two halves. Then we have here the legs. This looks like a thing for a banner pole. Could be. Could be not. We will see. <laughs> little back. <coughs> here are the feet. For one. Quick overview on the back side. <coughs> so, let's take up the next sprue. So, here we got uh, the heads. Left and right for the first head. Left and right for the second one. And lots and lots of horns. Here are also parts of a saddle. Another horn. Another feet, leg. Here we have... Uh, a horn for a musician. The first in the whole ogre army. Normally ogres are only shouting. They don't have musicians. So this looks like also <coughs> part of a leg. Yeah, also another two feet. There we have a little accessory knife and a skull on a hook. Two additional skulls. What would be GW without skulls? <laughs> so, that's an interesting piece. Hmm. So, <clears throat> that's the back side. Oh, there we have one ogre head. Mm -hmm. yeah, overall, nice quality. The mold lines are very, very slim. Nothing major to see. Very easy to remove. And now, last but not least, the interesting part of uh, this sprue. There we have one ogre hat, one pistol in a hand. This here looks like a shoulder guard. Two clips. Here we have an interesting version of a sword. <coughs> arm, then another shoulder guard, bear pistol, there we have two additional heads, we we'll see in a moment when we look at the other side of the sprue, <coughs> front plate, legs are separate now, so you don't have to cut your ogres in half to place them on there, <laughs> so this looks like the standard, with some scales on it. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. So, and there we have uh, the shield arms, I guess. Yes. Those are this uh, fancy one-handed uh, weapon plus shield versions that the ogres have. <coughs> interesting. 
form here. So now let's flip over the sprue. Then we have two additional heads. Yeah, nice. And they have some horns to attach to it. Another one. So here's the body for one of the ogres. There's another one. Yeah, overall. Very nice. And as it seems, you got more arms and heads than you could use. <coughs> and you got a, a little bit left over to mix in with your normal ogres. And I guess uh, this stuff should fit very nicely. So, I hope you like this little review on the <coughs> Ogre Kingdom's Moonfang Cavalry. And we see us in the next video. Yeah, Alexandra.